Let's talk about it for a minute because there has been one confirmed case in New York City of coronavirus. Spring break is upon us. A lot of parents are worried about what to do. Let's bring in cardiologist Dr. Jennifer Haith with Columbia University Medical Center to talk about you know, the response to this. I think as a lot of parents are looking to you, the experts, for answers, how is the medical uh, community prepared for this? So the medical community has actually really gotten very well prepared. I think that testing is now much easier to do in New York State, for instance, and in all states this week. Uh, hospitals are preparing by creating very clear rules about who will and won't be tested, who's coming into the emergency room. But I think that the biggest issue upon us is that as more people become sick, hospitals need to be prepared for that surge level of patients coming in needing more advanced care. So why is it that some folks are getting critically ill but others are not? So help us understand the difference here. Right. So I, I do want to be reassuring in, this, in telling people that over 80 percent of these illnesses are felt to be mild, right? So people are going to feel typical symptoms of a cold, runny nose, maybe be a fever, sore throat, cough, but in the elderly or people who are very immune compromised from other medical illnesses, the disease can take a more drastic course and make people develop a pneumonia, which can be hard to treat because viral pneumonias don't respond to antibiotics the way typical bacterial pneumonias do. All right. And so when it comes to children, they're not as susceptible to this, right? Right. So it seems that children really aren't that susceptible to coronavirus, or if they're getting it, their symptoms are very mild. And, you know, there's been a lot of thoughts about why this may be. It's possible that children are exposed to so many other coronaviruses that we see in the community that they have a lot of immunity built up, whereas someone in their 70s and 80s who's much farther away from prior illnesses as a child don't have that immune buildup and aren't prepared to fight the infection. And at the foundation of this, it's washing our hands. I know it sounds so simple, and a lot of us go, I know how to wash my hands, but a lot of folks are not doing it the correct way. That's right. I mean, really, first of all, I just want to reiterate, hand washing is always going to be better than Purell, right, or any of these, you know, hand sanitizers. Why is that? Well, because the soap really extracts the infection, the dirt, everything off of your hands, and okay. especially if you're using antibacterial soap or things that have a germicidal component to them. Right. Well, walk with me, if you will, because it's very simple, and, and I'll be honest with you. You guys say to, you guys, the medical mm -hmm. experts, say to wash your hands for 20 seconds, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to do this right here. Yep. And um, so what you want to do that, is you want to do two presses of, of, two pr of right? So, okay. But you don't wet your hands first, right? You can. It's, it's really it up matter. to okay. you. Yep. All right. And then you're going to really lather your hands up. Lather Make sure really you get good. in all the areas around your rings, especially for, mm -hmm. you know, women or men who wear rings. And you want to count about 20 seconds, which is singing happy birthday happy in birthday, your mind. Right? Happy right. birthday right. to you. Right, exactly. Once um, you've got a really good lather and you feel I'll tell like you, typically, though, I don't wash it for that long. I get, yeah. I get it, you know, all right. soapy, and then I put it in there. Right, but, right. So, so for now, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm, try to rinse from the top down so oh, that you're, okay. you know, really getting Kinda all like, of Kind of like the surgeons do. That's right. It's your chance to be a surgeon. <laughs> and just remember to do this as many times a day as you can, especially if you've, you know, gone outside, ridden the subway, before and after you eat. You know, think about all the times you touch things during the right. day, doorknobs. Our hands are going to get so dry. That's right. But hey, it's okay. Small price to pay, right? right? Get a little hand cream. Virus free. <laughs> exactly. All right, Dan. So there you go. Sing happy birthday. The ABC's 20 seconds is key. Yeah, it feels like eternity when you're doing it.